Hi guys, it's Mark Welcome to another Minecraft modding tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add the property direction block state to your block. So we're going to get things started. If you haven't watched the last one, then I recommend you watch it. Um, because that's going to help you know what I'm doing today. And our property direction is just a facing, so property direction dot create and we want it on every single plane so i'm going to put facing here now I'll explain i'll explain what i mean so if you do property direction dot okay let's just head to property direction and I'll show you what i mean so um this will just create a property um it's an enum facing one so it's a built-in stuff and what we can do is actually have one which says like what values we can allow so uh i'll show you this here by copy and pasting this uh facing to and what you can do is do enum facing dot and then uh plane dot and then horizontal or vertical which would just be two different planes that you can have so horizontal obviously is like north south east west and vertical is uh, up and down we want all of them so what we do here if we put in facing and i'm just going to get rid of this second block state now in our set default state we need to put the new one so dot with property and it's facing and the value is enum facing dot north which is our default value um it's not going to affect any of these stuff here at all because it's not going to have a separate block the only thing that is going to change is uh on block placed now what we're going to do here is have super on block placed but for the facing, what we're going to do is block piston base dot get facing from entity at the position and the entity is the placer. So what they'll do is get the correct like face that should be showing. And that that's a really useful method to use. If you want to look at it, it's just this here. I know this works because that's what the piston uses. And that is literally us implemented it into our code. It's as simple as that. Now, what we want to do is go to our block state. So let's just open up our block state for the block breaker. Now, what we need to do is actually create um, the new models. So in here, we're just going to change these to... Uh, oh, we're going to leave them the same. We're just going to change like what's actually in them. So, instead of being cube all, which is what we had before, just going to be a cube, and um, we're going to set particle to this. And really, it's just a copy and pasting. So, north, south, east, west, up, down, and that's basically all the position. So, north. down and that's just the faces on the block but i'm going to change this so the one that i'm going to change is the north one and i'm just going to put front on here um now we only need to do the front one so i'm just going to go in this one paste it and find the basic and replace with advanced and if you just hit replace all they'll just do that if we head over to uh, block state it, this is going to be quite important to change it now takes in the facing now this is actually alphabetic like in the order that it puts this stuff in here so seeing as the letter F becomes letter T F in facing and T in type we actually have to put facing first so facing equals north and it's just going to be this block model here 
and we're going to sort out the um, ones for the basic ones first. So facing equals south. Now you might be thinking, how we're going to need like a different model for each one. We actually don't, which is actually really easy. It's just the y-axis with the rotation of 180, which would be south, which will have exactly the same like model, just rotated. So we can actually do that for the others as well. So uh, east is actually a y rotation of 90, if you have it on the north face. And west is actually a y rotation of 270 degrees. Up is a bit different. It's actually on the x axis and it's actually 270 degree rotation. And then you've got down, which is also on the x axis, which is only 90 degree rotation. Now, what we can do is copy and paste this and just change it to be advanced. So, get rid of that. And like so. Now, that's really cut down the, on the amount of models that we need. Now, I didn't know how to do this on the last time I did this tutorial for 1.8, but this is something that I've done. So here's my generator stuff. I've got the different types of generators in my industrial tech mod, and I have just rotations. Literally, I'm running on three models for these, which is super, super cool. Okay, so I noticed an error that I forgot to put, and that's just a comma after all of these. Um, because this is JSON, JSON requires commas after stuff. So, yep. Okay, so the game has loaded up, and we have not got any texture errors today, which is absolutely great. We should be able to see our block in the game. Now, these just have the block state of north. So, you should see on the north face, we have that texture that I showed you. So, if you just grab these, you should be able to place it in any direction now. Now, there is one more method, which I don't understand quite why we need this, but on block placed by, it does it after it's set in the world. So, that's after you've placed it, but what we need to do is world in dot set block state at the pause, uh, the state is actually state dot with property facing and the value is the block piston base dot get facing from entity pause and placer and now we need to just get the flags of two um which that should fix the placing error okay so the game has loaded up and we should be able to place our block appropriately and it shouldn't just be in the north state um so we place it up and it places it up now you can see that it does actually rotate the textures on the side which i don't quite understand these two are upside down oh well so basic place like that and i can show you these in every single direction thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am out